Welcome back. We're joined now by our good friend, Chef Fred. So what are we going to be making today? Well, it's spring, and hopefully the warm weather will follow. I hope so. Uh, and when warm weather follows, we have a lot of uh, events that support finger food. So I thought we'd make my buffalo chicken roll-ups today to kind of start that process. Right, sounds good. So went out and got all the goodies, got back to the studio, fired up the oven, took one pound of boneless, skinless chicken breast, a little salt, pepper, roasted them off, let them cool, ran them through the food processor, and I basically fine chopped them, and that's what I have in the bowl here. Then I took eight ounces of cream cheese, one half cup of wing sauce. Now, you can vary the heat depending upon what you like or what you can tolerate. And I combined that and whipped that until it was nice and fluffy and, and nice and light. So to that, we're gonna add one tablespoon of ranch dressing mix. This okay. is the dry mix. Go ahead and just dump that yeah. in. Yep. He's gonna follow that with a teaspoon of granulated garlic. Perfect. I have a quarter cup of chopped celery, third of a cup of crumbly blue cheese, and then I have a cup of Colby Jack that's been grated. And I'm just gonna combine that with a cream cheese mixture. And I think you can switch out the shredded cheese for anything that's your preference. Oh, sure, sure. So this, I mean, this process is pretty stinking quick. Uh, it doesn't take a lot of effort. It's not expensive to make. Now we're at a point where we can go ahead and add the chicken. All right. So just all of that's gonna go in there. Let me help you a little yep. bit. Okay. And then what we're going to do is we're going to fold that together. See how fast that yeah. uh, mixes? What I like to do is I like to take this and set it in the fridge for about an hour. Okay. Just to let all the flavors mingle. Bring it back out. You can use any type of uh, wrap you want. Today we're going to use a spinach herb, you could use a uh, tomato basil, you could use a plain uh, flour tortilla if you wanted. You're going to take about three quarters of a cup of this mixture and you're going to spread this all over. So even the kitchen novice can do this, this is not a yeah. big deal. Now the secret is when you roll them, you want to roll them as tight as you can. And this recipe will support five wraps. Take these wraps, put them on a plate or a tray, put them back in the fridge for three hours so that they get nice and firm. When they come out, you're gonna cut off the ends and this will cut into five delectable pieces and what I like to do. All right, well, it looks like that's all the time that we have today, though these look very good. Thank you, Chef Fred. If you would like this recipe or any other recipes, they're all on mytwintiers.com slash Chef Fred. 18 News, we'll be right back after your lottery.